Hello everybody. Thank you so much for visiting uh, Riders United YouTube channel. This is the place where I release uh, videos related to motorcycles. And I also try to share some helpful uh, tips and tricks and also do some of the reviews of and the install of uh, various items. And in today's episode, I would like to show you how to install these uh, rail guards that will be uh, going on the top of my saddlebags in order to prevent this from any scratches. And also uh, the look of it is outstanding. So if you would like to see how uh, the bike will look like after the install, please uh, stick around and I will show you what I got. Here we go. So I was looking for some of the options to protect my saddlebags from uh, scratches and scuffs, especially from the boot when you are sitting on the bike, which are really common. And uh, I used the bike for about, uh, about a year and I have to say I was uh, really gentle with it and uh, it looks like there is no uh, major scratches, but from time to time I will touch the saddlebag with my, with my boot when I was uh, sitting on it. So I decided to give it a different shot and install those uh, saddlebag rails. Uh, they are obviously different solutions. Uh, you can buy some of those covers that are uh, offered by Harley Davidson. So those are just like uh, plastic covers that go on top of the on top of the lead. But I have to say the look of these uh, rails uh, kind of grew on me and I always really like it. So after uh, quite some time of thinking about it, I decided to give it a shot. This is an uh, original Harley Davidson item. So obviously the quality is uh, top notch, I have to say. The powder coating is outstanding. Everything truly matched the bike. So you will get uh, this uh, two rails and uh, obviously some instructions as always from Harley, which I always uh, enjoy to have something like that. You will have to drill uh, some holes in your, uh, in your leads and then you will use the ATV silicone in order to prevent any leaks. So I will uh, jump to the bike right now and I will show you guys step by step how to do it. I didn't have the chance to find any similar videos on the YouTube, so I really hope that this will be helpful for somebody that is uh, considering this upgrade. So yeah, let's go to the bike and we'll take it from there. So in order to place these rails on the top of your saddlebag, you will have to drill some holes. And what I would recommend doing first is to clean the lid really nicely. And I actually apply some uh, wax just to make sure that everything is nicely protected because when you have the rail you might not have the access to all of those areas so this is really good moment to actually get this stuff ready and what you will do later on you will basically unbolt those two bolts remove the bag and secure the bag on the ground just so you can drill the holes without this stuff moving too much so i'm gonna do that right now You will notice that Harley actually marked the saddlebags with those points in here, which will allow you to drill the holes in the right places. So this is like super helpful. What we're gonna do right now, we'll put the tape on the opposite side, just so we can prevent any chipping. But yeah, Harley did a great job with like marking those spots for us. Now that I have general idea where the hole's gonna be, I'm gonna put this uh, painter's tape. So this one have like, just a little bit of the glue and it will prevent the paint from chipping so just stick it in here I will do the same thing in here just to have a little extra protection and right now what we're gonna do we're gonna drill like little tiny holes the pilot holes before we'll use the final size of the drill bit so we're gonna use this tiny little drill 116 and we'll drill this hole and those two in here just to make sure that we start with the right location. They recommend to remove the back for drilling. I will try to see if I can drill it with the back actually in here. So yeah, we'll see how that's gonna go. Yeah, that's actually easier, at least for this hole when the bag is on. And right now we'll drill those two. So now I'm gonna drill 
the little bit bigger holes and the, the instruction requires 730 second. I'm gonna go one size smaller on the drill just to make sure that my screws are really tight and it will allow me to control to make sure that everything is nice and centered. So yeah, I'm gonna use the uh, one uh, bit smaller than recommended in the instruction. Now keep in mind, this one hole has to be a little bit bigger and Harley recommend this really big drill. So again, I just measure the screw and I'm gonna go with exactly the same size. So this one is, uh, let me see, 5 sixteenths that I'm gonna drill in here. I think it will be enough. Harley recommend uh, 3 eighths of an inch, but I think this is too big. So make sure that you drill the correct one because this is the only hole that is bigger than the rest of them. So pay attention to that. And that's the reason I put my Allen wrench in here because basically what I did when I close the bag, I will put this thing in and then I will see that this hole is bigger. So I don't wanna make any mistakes. So I just mark it. And right now when I open the bag, I will know that this is the hole that I have to drill. So I'm gonna go really slowly because this is a little bit bigger drill. So we try that. As you can see, this screw will like easily go through. So I try to limit any possibility of leaks. So that's the reason I decided to drill a little bit smaller holes than recommended. But yeah, it's really up to you. I think that will probably work for me, but obviously this is your own decision. But yeah, I think that that was a good idea. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. If you didn't have the chance to subscribe yet, please uh, like and subscribe. I have over 175 different videos on my uh, YouTube channel, so I really hope that you will find something interesting. Let's jump back to this installation. Now pay attention, this bigger hole on the left saddlebag is on the outside, and in here is on the inside. So this is really weird, but this is how it is. So this is really easy to kind of mess this up if you don't pay attention. I would recommend that you will put something in the hole that will be bigger just to make sure you don't make any mistakes because this is definitely weird. I was thinking that they will be on the same side, but they are actually in the different places. So I'm not sure about that, but yeah, I, I verify and check and it looks like everything is lined up properly. Now we can remove this tape to clean this up to make sure that we don't have any pieces like sticking out but they actually came up really nice and clean so yeah, you can even do it with your nails and yeah maybe this one required a little bit more cleaning but yeah, actually this is really good so yeah just check them out you can use a tiny file if necessary to just clean them up and we'll do the same thing up front i thought i will show the instruction just so you guys can see how all this uh, screws and elements are going back together and basically there is a description of each part. So maybe a little close up here and then you can cross reference this with how everything is supposed to go in here. So yeah, we'll just cut these little pieces from this uh, frame. So everything is attached right now. And yeah, then we'll apply a little bit of the uh, gasket maker just to kind of uh, make sure that everything is nicely sealed but yeah, with this uh, little bit smaller holes, I'm not worried about it that much, but yeah, it should be RV silicone, but yeah, I don't have that in my garage right now. So I'm gonna just use the gasket maker and make sure everything is nice and tight. So what you're gonna do right now, you will take this uh, gasket maker and you will apply it in here on this plastic washer, just to make sure that you don't have any leaks. So. Yeah, don't go crazy with it, just enough so it will seal everything really nicely. So that should do it. Now you will put this little tip.
yeah, that should be a good start to start tightening this up. Obviously, we have to repeat the same thing for those smaller screws as well. So yeah, you will apply this gasket maker or RV sealant around here and put it through. Now these additional pieces. And right now we'll put this on and try to tighten this up as much as we can. All right, looks like this side is done. Now we're gonna repeat the same process on this side. So I'm not gonna bore you with that. I will just put all this uh, gasket maker, put the screw, align everything really nicely and then tie it up. Here you go. So this is everything that I have for you guys today. I really think that uh, this is outstanding addition to my bike. I truly love the look of it. And it's also really helpful to prevent the, the bags from any, any damage on the, on the top of the leads. So I think that this is uh, just a win-win situation for me. And uh, as always, I would like to ask for your comments and uh, your opinion about this. So maybe you have uh, something similar on your bike. Maybe somebody else is manufacturing something similar. And uh, I always uh, am open for hearing your opinion and uh, sharing some of these uh, experiences that you guys might have. So uh, as always, I would like to say thank you so much for your time. I truly appreciate uh, to uh, view some of those videos and I really hope that you will find something interesting on the channel. And this is everything that I have for you guys today. So ride safe and see you on the next one. Bye bye.